Right around the corner, and local wineries are about to harvest their grapes. Emily Deem is live at Parallel 44 Winery. Good morning, Emily. Good morning, Rachel. We're out here. What a beautiful morning to be out here at Parallel 44 Vineyard and Winery. And they're getting ready now, picking their grapes. There's a few phases you have to go through when you're harvesting these grapes. And now picking, and what is the next process we're going through? Uh, we like to weigh each lug of our grapes so we know what the yield is going to be uh, per acre. And then from there, we're going to be crushing it to release the juice from the skin. And then from there, it'll be pressed. Then it'll go into tank and we'll begin fermentation. All right, Steve. Steve Johnson, take us through the process of this. You've got to weigh each one of the barrels that comes in. So show us how that's done. Right. Just put it on the scale and get an approximate weight of a lug. This one is uh, near 38 pounds. And this is pounds yep. that you're talking about. Yeah, we'll probably uh, harvest about three or four tons today. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is the machine. Yep, this is the crusher to stemmer. It's going to pull the grapes off the stems and then it's going to put them through rubber rollers to release the juice. Okay, let's see those grapes go through. And so what's happening now, Steve? So now they're coming out, and what's the process? Yeah, there's an auger in there that's pulling all the grapes off the stems, and then they're going through rubber rollers just to break the skin so the juice is released. Uh, and then uh, from there, it's going to be pressed off into what's going to become the final product. Now, how many grapes do you need for you to be able to pump it right now? Uh, generally, you're going to have about uh, 200 pounds that will be crushing. Well, I read about this, about 200 pounds in that uh, bin right now, but generally like to get up to a quarter of a ton and then we begin the pressing. Okay, so right now, could we see some suctioning and make sure, sure. that yeah. everyone can see this is the next process that yep. it goes through? Yeah, I'll have my dad turn on the pump <laughs> here and we'll be pumping this, which this is now called must, and from the, the must will then be transferred oh, wow. through that pump into our press. And once that's filled, we'll, we'll increase the pressure in there and then we'll get the free run juice that's going to become the wine. And another good thing too, because all the skin, um, the stems and everything goes in that green bag, but that's all going to be um, put in, how do you reuse that? Uh, basically the free run juice will come out, the stems, uh, the seeds, skin, that'll just be composted later to be used for fertilization. Okay. Now if we we're making red wine, we would not be pressing it right now. It would be crushed like we are now, but it's going to go right into the tank, and then the fermentation would take place off the skins. But for white wine, you want a very clear liquid before you begin fermentation. And how long is that juice going to be fermented then? Uh, well, we're going to cold sell it for a few days and inoculate it, and it will go through primary fermentation about three or four days. So a week from now, you can come back and taste it. It'll be pretty close to a finished product. Okay, and a finished product, everybody. Here we go. It's a labor of love but it comes out a great product. Steve, thanks for joining us oh, this morning. You. And all the information, too, is on fox11online.com. We'll send it back to you guys. I bet it's pretty tasty. Thanks, Emily.